Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte has stirred controversy after he asked a woman to kiss him on the lips on stage in exchange for a book during an official visit to South Korea. Women's rights groups have condemned the event, saying it was part of a bigger effort to deflect from real policy issues and Mr Duterte's warning, waning popularity. Harovi Cooper from Reuters reports. It was a high-level meeting between Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte and South Korean counterpart Moon Jae-in. But it's this moment that stole the headlines at the political summit. Duterte kissing a Filipino worker at a rally in Seoul caught on live television. Feminists slamming the kiss as a gimmick to entertain supporters. And the fact that you thought that uh, kissing the woman would uh, entertain people still says something about how you view women. Women are for entertainment, um, that you can uh, express or exercise your authority over another person, especially a woman, is entertainment. That's something really sick. But many Filipinos at home thought the incident was completely harmless. For me, that kiss was okay, as long as the woman was okay with it. It seems like she was the one who even requested it. People are just putting malice to it, but it was just a simple kiss. The kiss that lit up Twitter with jokes and anger took place on Sunday night in front of a cheering crowd of over 3,000 people when Duterte asked an unidentified audience member to kiss him in exchange for a book he was handing out. In a later interview, the woman identified as Bia Kim said the kiss did not mean anything to her and there was no malice. But critics say even if the act was consensual, it was a grave abuse of authority, especially since Duterte has a history of making sexist remarks, including numerous jokes about rape. And that was Harovi Cooper from Reuters with that report.